All right, guys, welcome back. Today is January the 31st, 2017. We've made it an entire month doing this wonderful show, your daily top seven at seven. And uh, things have changed quite a bit since we first started off. We had all sorts of different topics and we were all over the place. Didn't really have an idea of what we wanted to do with the show, but now I think it's pretty much taken form. I think that uh, doing the news is definitely a good idea. I wouldn't mind having a different news source, uh, but I feel like Reuters is probably the least biased, uh, simply because it's just not, um, it's not entirely ran by the US, I guess. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It, it's something that I would like to talk to you guys with in the comments. So bring it up. Let me know what you guys think. If you feel like there's a less biased news source out there uh, that doesn't support, you know, the the either the liberal or the the conservative agenda, uh, but you know, just tells the news like it is. Let me know. That's what we're here for. Okay. So let's go ahead and start off. Uh, Quebec mosque shooting suspect charged with murdering six people. A French Canadian university student was the sole suspect in a shooting at a Quebec mosque and was charged with the premeditated murder of six people, Canadian authorities said on Monday, in what Prime Minister Justin Trudeau called a terrorist attack. So apparently the, the rumors of the Moroccan, either there was no Moroccan or he was determined innocent or not, you know, not a part of what was going on here. Um, and we just have to take it as fact. Um, if Justin says it, it must be Trudeau. Iraq will not retaliate against Trump's visa ban. Iraq will not retaliate to U.S. President Donald Trump's travel ban against Iraqi nationals because it does not want to lose Washington's cooperation in the war on Islamic State, Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi said on Tuesday. Kiev and Kremlin trade blame over surge in East Ukraine fighting. Ukraine and Russia blame each other on Tuesday for a surge in fighting in Eastern Ukraine in recent days that has led to the highest casualty toll in weeks and cut off power and water to thousands of civilians on the front line. Well, let's hope that... Uh you know, the, those thou thousands of civilians that uh, the worst thing that happens is that their power and, and water is cut off for a while. Uh, let's hope it gets restored soon. French police search Philan's office as, a way, as a fake pay as fake pay affair gathers pace. Police searched, uh, police searched French presidential candidate Francois Fillon's office in Parliament on Tuesday as an inquiry into his wife's income uh, threatened his campaign and party grandees began to consider a plan B without him. Syrian groups see more U.S. support for IS fight. Plan new phase. A U.S.-backed alliance of Syrian militias said on Tuesday it saw signs of increased U.S. support for their campaign against Islamic State with President Donald Trump in office, <clears throat> a shift that would heighten Turkish worries over Kurdish power in Syria. Philippines' drugs war killings systematic, planned. A wave of drugs-related killings in the Philippines appears to be systematic, planned, and organized by authorities and could constitute crimes against humanity, according to an Amnesty International report released on Wednesday. See, it's, um, what is that uh, term, uh? Oh gosh, I, I just had it in my head a little while ago. It's um, the term where they use uh, two, they, they use two meanings on something. You know, <laughs> the very slippery slope right here. Uh, appears to be systematic, planned, and organized by authorities. So, <laughs> <clears throat> so is it the authorities who are doing it or, uh, no, no. That, I think that's exactly what it says. The authorities did it, and it could be cons it could constitute crimes against humanity. If I'm reading that wrong, uh, let me know what that word is. I, I just can't think of it right now. It's um, it's such a simple word. 
Anyway, it's one of the uh, the fall fall fallacious arguments. Um, gosh, my brain. Okay, let's see. Iran will not use ballistic missiles to attack any country, foreign minister. Iran said on Tuesday it would never use its ballistic missiles to attack another country and defend its missile tests, saying they are neither part of a nuclear accord with world powers nor a UN Security Council resolution endorsing the pact. Hmm. So, but it will have missiles. <laughs> We're trying to get to the moon, man. Trying to get to the moon. <clears throat> Eastern European states may deny asylum to any members of terrorist groups. Court rules. European Union states may deny asylum to people who have been involved in a terrorist organization, even if they have not actually committed or plotted violent acts. The European Union's top court ruled on Tuesday. <coughs> Excuse me. So, are they endorsing Trump? Because that kind of sounds like what we're hearing here. Uh, just as with this story here, Syrian gr groups see more U.S. support for ISIS fight. Seems like that's what's happening here. So, Netanyahu tweets like Trump. Great idea. Benjamin Netanyahu doesn't just appreciate Donald Trump's politics. He is starting to sound like him on Twitter. Asia targets tourism, education boost from Trump travel ban. Seeking to capitalize on U.S. President Donald Trump's controversial new travel restrictions, companies and officials in Asia said they would target greater tourism and education ties with Muslims worried about the curbs. They're like, yeah, you don't need to go to the U.S. Don't worry about that. Come to China. China, yeah. All right. Well, you guys, thank you so much for uh, joining me again on this wonderful adventure. We get to learn so much about the world, and I love seeing all your bright, smiling faces in the morning. So join me again for the top seven at seven, and I will see you tomorrow.